Welcome back. In today's medical moment, an estimated 34 million people have diabetes in this country, which would be more than 10% of the population. November is Diabetes Awareness Month, and Fallon Love Lady from Spectrum Health joins us this morning to share more about the disease and how their programs can help folks lead healthy and happy lives. Good morning, Fallon. How are you? Good morning. Thanks for having me. Doing well. Good, good to hear. So for those who don't know, break it down. What exactly is diabetes? So in its simplest definition, diabetes is a condition that reflects too much sugar in the blood. There's different types of diabetes that we need to be aware of. There's prediabetes and where there's high levels of sugar in the blood, but not quite high enough for us to classify it as type 2 diabetes. There's also type 1 diabetes where your pancreas does not produce any or very little insulin, uh, which is a hormone that helps to regulate those high levels of sugar in the blood. And then there's also type two diabetes. This is the most common type of diabetes that we hear about. In that case, your body does produce insulin, but not it doesn't work properly. So it's not helping to regulate those high levels of sugar in the blood. And then we also see gestational diabetes. And that's when we only see diabetes during pregnancy. Well, you mentioned a, a pre-diabetes, the levels of sugar are, uh, in the blood. What, what are the warning signs and the symptoms? Like, how would someone know if, if they're at risk uh, beyond genetics? So that's two different things, right? So knowing your risk, you can work with your primary care physician. That is a great place to start. There's a few risk, risk assessments that can be offered online through websites, uh, one of them being the American Diabetes Association. Uh, they have an assessment called Know Your Risk where you answer a couple of questions and then they give you a risk score and then um, they tell you what are some next steps. There's also programs that offer screenings that can help you identify your level of risk as well. So now the warning signs and symptoms that you need to be aware of. There's three key signs that we kind of look for. One is plenty of bathroom breaks, so lots of urination. Plenty of food, feeling very, very hungry. Um, also plenty of drinks, being very thirsty even after drinking, right? There's additional symptoms that may alert you that there's something wrong as well. Blurred vision, fatigue, unexplained weight loss, slow healing cuts or wounds, numbness and tingling in your hands and feet, and irritability can also be a symptom. So once someone is diagnosed with diabetes, what, what is it like to manage it? Uh, how difficult is it to manage diabetes on a daily basis? So managing diabetes must be centered around the individual. So taking into account all the factors that contributes to that person's health and management journey is key. Um, it can be hard, but it does not have to be hard. It can be a lot easier with the right resources and supports in place. What about uh, prevention? I mean, can this be prevented? And if so, how? So in some cases, yes, it can be prevented. So if you have not been diagnosed with diabetes yet, or even if you are considered pre-diabetic, the time to act is now. So lifestyle changes, including nutrition, knowing what you're eating, um, and physical activity are some of the key things that can help you prevent diabetes if you have not been diagnosed. Of course, Fallon, uh, Spectrum Health, a big reason that we're hearing about diabetes this month during Diabetes Awareness Month. Talk about those preventative programs that Spectrum Health offers. So, of course, all of our primary care offices and practices, so staying current with your annual physicals is one way to ensure that both you and your provider is keeping your health at the top of mind and preventing many other chronic diseases, including diabetes. Uh, we also have a lifestyle medicine practice, which also helps coach through lifestyle changes that lead to a healthier life. And then we also have a diabetes prevention program through our endocrinology practice. And then two programs that I'm super, super excited to tell you guys about is programs that we offer through healthier communities. One is More Life Mas Vida. That's a free program for those in the community that may not have insurance or experience other access barriers. This program offers free biometric screenings, which include a blood sugar check. And that can give you valuable insight as to where you may fall or may not fall on that diabetes spectrum. And then the other program we have out of healthier communities is Core Health. This is an amazing program for those of you who have, may have already been diagnosed with diabetes. Um, and it gives you extra support and assistance on how you manage that disease and condition while you're at home and living your day to day life. That's all great information. Obviously, Spectrum Health leading the way in diabetes awareness and prevention with all these great programs. Fallon, thank you so much for the time this morning. Absolutely. Thank you. Of course, if you want to learn more, you can just head to spectrumhealth.org for more information.